Hey guys, geek into everyone. On this video, I'm gonna tell you about tr command in Linux. tr is a command line utility in Linux and Unix systems that translates, deletes, and squeezes characters from the standard input and writes the result to the standard output. The tr command can perform operations like removing repeated characters, converting uppercase to lowercase, and basic character replacing and removing. Typically, it's used in combination with other commands through piping. So, you can see the syntax of this command on your screen now. So let's check it out how you can use this command in practical way. But before I want to show you some manual of this command you can find on your Linux operational system. First you can use the man command to get a manual of command you specify. So as you can see tr translate or delete characters. You can also find synopsis, description, included information about options, etc. Don't hesitate to check this manual out. Also you can use a help option to get information included syntax and information about options and some description as well. So, tr command accepts two sets of characters, usually with the same length, and replaces the characters of first sets with the corresponding characters from the second set. A set is basically a string of characters, including the special backslash escaped characters. So, let's check it out how it works on the basic example. Okay, I'm gonna type echo command. Pipeline. Then tr command. Okay and press enter. OK. Uh, tr command will replace all character from standard input and actually for tr command standard input is the output of echo command. Each occurrence of e is replaced with s and each occurrence of n is replaced with z. So, as you can see, here is a double e replaced to double s, then n here replaced with z. So, on the every one, three e characters replaced to s characters and one n character replaced to z character. So it's a basic example how tr command works. Let's check it out how it works with different options. First option is a dash c or double dash complement option is used to replace all characters that are not in set one. Let's check it out how it works. Let's add C option here. Press enter. As you can see, there is a strange sequence of characters in output, but I want to explain that using uh, this option, uh, all characters uh, except uh, E and N will be replaced with the last character from the second set. Okay, 
if we just run this command and specify uh, q is uh, last character of second set okay uh, by this command uh, all characters except e and n you know the output of echo command you know uh, on this expression is going to be replaced uh, by a Q character. Let's press enter. As you can see, all characters excluded E and N uh, were replaced by Q character. Okay. Next option is a dash D or double dash delete option. Tells TR command to delete characters specified in set one. Let's check it out how it works. Okay, let's replace C option to D option. Okay, and there is gonna be only set one, only one set. Okay, it's a set one. Uh, so, uh, by this command, we uh, ask tr command to delete all characters uh, which we specify in this set. So, all uh, characters, I mean e and n, will be deleted from this expression. So, press enter. As you can see, we can specify like all and other characters if you want. Okay. Next option is a dash s or double dash squeeze repeats option replaces a sequence of repeated occurrences with the character in the set. Okay, let's check it out how it works. Okay. I specified here dash s option and a space in the set so if uh, this command tr with this option s find on the input uh, in our case it's an expression geek into everyone repeated occurrence of character so that means it's replaced it's gonna be replaced uh, uh, by uh, space. Okay, let's press enter. Nothing changed. But if I change this expression with the uh, occurrence of the space, so press enter. As you can see, this double space occurrence just uh, replaced by one space. Okay, next option is a dash T or double dash truncate set one option forces TR command to truncate set one to the length of set two before doing further processes. Okay, let's check it out how it works. geek and it's a set one I specified three characters on the set two I'm gonna specify two characters uh, so uh, by default if without this option uh, all these letters is gonna be replaced by uh, last character of second set so let's check it out. Okay. Yeah, it works like that. But if we use a T option, press enter. As you can see, uh, 
this first set is just a cut on, on the same length as sec second set. So second set two characters. So it should cut first set by the same length. So uh, this character K just gonna be cut, you know, and it's gonna be two characters. So G and G, G and E. So and G and E characters is gonna be replaced uh, G by one and E by two. Okay, let's check it out on the output. Also, you can convert lowercase to uppercase. Let's check it out how it works. Let's remove this and you have to specify lower okay upper so press enter as you can see it works like that uh, so if you want to convert from uppercase to lowercase for example everyone Okay, uh, next what you can do is uh, remove all non-numeric characters. You can use uh, see the, this option together okay let's specify uh, some numbers so press enter as you can see by this uh, command with these options you just remove all non-numeric characters so thanks guys for watching this video i hope it was useful for you ciao ciao